Today, I'm going to be talking about how the IntelliCache feature of Zen Server works and how you can configure it. This Zen Server feature can deliver significant reduction on shared storage usage, whilst also accelerating VM performance when delivering images via the Citrix machine creation services. This can be particularly effective during boot storms, reducing storage load by up to 95% and reducing boot times by five times. If you have not seen IntelliCache in action, there is a short video demonstrating it. The details are in the description of this video, so take a look and you can watch the IntelliCache in action. Because this provisioning technology is dependent on storage to deliver the images, the load on remote storage can be high and needs to be taken into account in the designs for the deployment. When using MCS, you are provisioning and distributing many identical VMs. As long as you are not using the full clone method, they all share a common master image. All these VMs will read their disk content directly from the storage they are provisioned onto. This can cause a bottleneck when events like bootstorms occur, as each VM is reading all of its data from the remote storage. Zen Server provides a feature called IntelliCache to help reduce the load on the remote storage by making use of the local storage in the hypervisor hosts to provide a persistent read cache of the data being read from the master image and can significantly reduce the load on central storage. This will optimize storage load for the VMs created using MCS when thin provisioned onto storage without impacting the agility of the VMs. The VMs can be started on any host that has access to the storage being used. The virtual machines created by MCS look like this. They share a common master image that is read-only and each VM is attached to the master image by a delta disk that captures any updates made. IntelliCache automatically creates a cache structure using local storage for the caches. You can see the blue disks are on NFS storage and is what is reflected in the Zen Center console when you examine the VMs. The caches are transparent and are not seen. Let's look at the read path for the data. For non-persistent VMs that are reset to initial state each boot, data is first read from the Delta Disk cache. There will never be any data in the Delta Disk itself for these VMs, as the machine cleans on each boot so there will be no content to persist. If the data needed is not in the Delta cache, it looks in the Master Image cache. And finally, if it still can't find the data it needs, it reads from the Master Image and caches the data into the Master Image cache, so it is there for the next read. For persistent machines, it is nearly the same, except that the machines can persist changes so data is read through the delta disk to ensure changes are picked up by the cache. All the caches are persistent. There is no need to flush these caches at any point. This enables the VMs to make full use of the cache at all times. When data is written, it is written directly to the cache if the VM cleans itself on boot as there is no need to persist any data back to the NFS storage. Otherwise, the data is written to the cache and to the Delta disk so that if a different host is used for a future boot, the data is not lost and the VM continues to be agile and able to start on other hosts, which don't have access to the same local storage for the existing cache. This is all transparent, which means as far as the VM is concerned, it is still using the disks on the NFS server, which allows them to continue to be load balanced across the hosts within the Zen server pool and needs no ongoing maintenance or management by the administrator. So, how hard is this to use? All you have to do is make sure when you create the connection to the Zen server in Web Studio that you select the Use IntelliCache option, as shown here. All the machines provisioned using this hosting definition will now gain these optimizations. And that's it. It's as easy as that. For full details of the IntelliCache feature and how to configure your hosts, you can check out the documentation on zenserver.com. And if you want to try it out for yourself, why not head over to zenserver.com and download the free Zenserver trial edition.